Last week, NASA announced some scientific particulars about the 2020s mission headed for Jupiter's moon Europa, and it was a little like Christmas for planetary science folks. Europa has a thick shell of ice covering an undersurface ocean, and there's a lot of interesting chemistry going on in that water. We don't know if there's life there, or even if the ocean is habitable, but it's an incredibly enticing destination. That's why the mission is headed that way. NASA's been doing a concept study for a mission called the Europa Clipper, and that's driven a lot of the thinking for this new probe. The idea is not to land, that's pretty difficult and presents a lot of technical issues, but instead have an orbital mission that swings around Jupiter and dips low over Europa's surface over and over again. The moon orbits deep within Jupiter's powerful magnetic field, and the radiation environment there is killer. Literally, a human on the surface of Europa would receive a lethal dose of radiation in about a day. To pull this mission off, NASA will send quite the suite of instruments on the spacecraft. There will be a camera that will map almost the entire moon with 50 meter resolution, radar that can determine the thickness of the ice and ocean, along with a heat mapper, an ultraviolet camera, and much more. Europa is one of the three best places to look for life in the solar system, the other two being Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus, and a mission there would take longer, be bigger, and cost more money. If we do find something biologically intriguing on Europa, we'll be in a better place to send more missions. And this is what NASA should be doing, pushing the frontier, doing what only a national space agency can do. This will be a huge undertaking, but it's one of a series of steps NASA is taking to look for life in the solar system and to answer one of the biggest questions of all time. Are we alone? I can't believe I have a fucking Academy Award and I'm calling you back! This does piggyback on real life fears. Are you hurt? And you won't find many people from the West Coast who aren't familiar with the concept